All right, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I will be going over right triangle trig word problems. And we'll look at two word problems, and then um, what I'll have you do is try a practice problem on your own. So uh, here we go. So a 10-foot ladder is leaned against the side of a house in such a way that it makes an angle of 65 degrees with the ground. So we're going to go ahead and draw the house. So here's the house. And the ladder kind of does this. All right, and here's the ground. So we have a right triangle, all right, so here's our right triangle, that's not a very good right box, but there we go. And it says that the angle here is 65 degrees, so there's 65 degrees. And what else is, what else information do we have? Well, it says that um, the ladder is 10 feet long, so this is the ladder here, so this is 10 feet. And what we want to find out is we want to find out how high, so from here to here, is the, how high up the house does the ladder reach? So that's going to be right here. So we're going to use trig, and we're going to have the opposite over the hypotenuse. So, you know, the, the hardest part about any of these problems is going to be making sure that you draw the picture correctly. So we're going to use the sine, so the sine of 65 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And it's just a matter of solving 10 times the sine of 65 equals h. And we're just going to plug that in our calculator. And so if we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get 9 point, about 9.1. So I'm going to go 9.1. And this is in feet. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to that one. So let's take a look at another one. So here's the second example. A camper is hiking and is standing on top of a 400-foot cliff enjoying a view. He looks down and views a bear at a 37-degree angle of depression. How far is the bear from the base of the cliff? Well, you know, we're going to need to know what angle of depression and angle of elevation are. So here I have a, a you know kind of a little explanation. So an angle of depression goes down, so it's downwards from a horizontal line. So here's the horizontal line. The angle of depression is down this way. Okay, if we were going this way, we're going the other way, the angle of depression would go down. That's the angle of depression. The angle of elevation is if we have the the horizontal down here, the angle of elevation is up from that horizontal. Same thing here, just go in the opposite direction, up from the horizontal. Okay, so that's the angle of elevation, meaning up, and depression, meaning down. So if we look at this problem, um, we've got our guy on the cliff here, here's the cliff, and that's 400 feet high. And he's looking down and sees a bear, and the bear's down here somewhere. Here's the bear. Okay, I'm not a very good bear drawer, but here's the bear. Um, I have no idea why I drew it that way. Okay, looks like a, a okay, whatever. So there's the bear. And then um, so the bear's down here on the ground, and we want the angle of depression. So that's this angle, okay, with the horizontal. So here's the horizontal. So the angle of depression is here, which is 37 degrees. And the question is, how far is the bear? So this is what we're looking for, x. Well, in order to do this, we can know that this angle of depression is the same as this angle of elevation because these are called alternate interior angles. And we figured that out from geometry. So this is going to be 37 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tangent. The tangent of 37 degrees is equal to the opposite, 400, over the adjacent x. Multiply by x, and then divide by the tangent of 37, and we're going to enter that in our calculator, and that will give us that will give us 301 point, uh, about point 0.4, and we're in feet here, okay? So that's our answer for that. 
So all there is is understanding that elevation and depression. Depression means going down from the horizontal and elevation going up from the horizontal. It turns out they're the same um, if we're dealing with horizontal. All right, so the next problem is a practice problem. And I encourage you, of course, to do it on your own. And then you can um, take a view of the answer and see what you get. So let's take a look at the next one. So here's the practice problem. Go ahead and pause it, and then you can go ahead and try it out and then see if you get the right answer. All right, so we have a girl flying a kite. So I'm going to say here's the girl. She's flying the kite. The kite's up here. All right, there's a kite. And um, the kite has 250 strings. So this is, if you've ever flown a kite, here's the string. Okay, this is 250 feet. She sights the kite at a 43 degree angle of elevation. So this is our 43 degree angle here. Okay, it's our angle of elevation. All right, and we're going to go straight down from there. Um, what is the height of the kite? We're going to go ahead and say that, you know, this 43 degrees is going to be from the ground, so we're really only looking for here. We're not, we're not going to take, you know, actually, in reality, we're going to want to know how high her eyes are, but um, in this case, we're just looking for this because they don't give us this, um, you know, it says disregard the height of the girl. So um, now we're doing the opposite over the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is the sine. Sine of 43 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by 250, and then again, we we'll just enter this in our calculator, and our calculator gets the height of the kite to be approximately 170.5 feet. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So the, the key to any of these is going to be making sure that you draw the picture correctly. So practice drawing the pictures um, and see what you can get. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.